Welcome to our lecture online. Now here we have the very same problem with it on the previous video, but now we're going to use a faster, quicker, smarter way of solving this problem. In the previous video we used the equation kinematics and it took us a while to get to the realization that when the two projectiles hit, their velocities will be the same, one in the horizontal direction, the other one in the vertical direction, but the magnitude of their velocities when they hit will be the same. Remember, the problem says a particle of mass m is projected from the ground with initial speed v sub naught at an angle of theta with the horizontal, so that's our first particle. At the highest point of its trajectory, it makes a complete inelastic collision with another identical particle which was thrown from the ground initially with the same initial velocity and what we're trying to determine is the angle of the composite particle when the two meet it's an inelastic collision so they will stick together what will be the angle at which it will proceed from the collision point after right after the collision four possible answers so the way to think about it is this since they start out with the same initial velocity and they start out with the same at the same location above the ground you could say that for particle number one the potential energy initial equals zero for particle number two the potential energy initial equals zero and for uh, for particle number one the kinetic energy initial is equal to one half mv initial squared and here the kinetic energy initial will be equal to one half m v initial squared. But in other words, the energy of particle 1 initially is exactly equal to the energy of particle 2. Now, at the point of collision, they have the same height. So since they have the same height, so at the collision point, they have the same height, which means that potential energy of the one particle equals the potential energy of the second particle. And because of that, since they start with the same amount of energy, and they have the same potential energy at the top, that means that the kinetic energy at 1 must equal the kinetic energy of particle 2. In other words, at the point of collision, they both must have the same kinetic energy, which means that the magnitude of the velocity of 1 must equal the magnitude of the velocity of 2 at the collision point. And since they have the same velocity, and they have the same mass, and they collide, they will then go off at a 45 degree angle, so we have one particle coming in here at V, another particle going up at V. Those two Vs are the same, V1 and V2. Since they're equal in magnitude, the angle will be 45 degrees, which is pi over 4. As you can see, same answer, but much quicker, simply by thinking about it in terms of energy rather than in terms of the equations of kinematics. Wow! Just have to think about it and do it the right, faster way. But that's the key, is to have all the information in your head and say, that's my best method at this moment. I can save some time doing it. Can you do it by time? <coughs> by time. Yeah, because they meet, so the time they travel is the same. Uh, no, the time they travel is not the same. The reason is... No, no, they cannot be fired at the same time because the initial velocity here in the vertical direction is V sub naught and initial velocity in the vertical direction is V sub naught sine theta. They have a different V sub naught in the vertical direction so they cannot start at the same time although because this one will be moving faster. This one is still moving upward. This one is already horizontal at that point. So there's a difference in time and so time is essentially not important here. Just the velocities, relative velocities when they get there. So this projectile had to be fired afterwards in order to meet here at the same, at the same point in time. <laughs>